today's video we're going to cover an overview of the different AP modes we can use with Cisco APs. This video forms part of the CCMP Enterprise Core Exam Series 350-401. The exam topic covered by this video is 3.3b, which is to describe AP modes. So there are two ways that we can run our APs within our network, depending on the firmware we run on it. These are Autonomous Mode and Lightweight Mode. Autonomous Mode, now also called Mobility Express, is used when you don't have a wireless LAN controller within your environment. Autonomous APs are configured one by one and are best for extremely small deployments. As you can imagine, configuring numerous APs and keeping the configuration in sync across multiple devices can be extremely difficult. For example, if you want to change a pre-shared key on your SSID configured on the autonomous APs, this would need to be configured on all autonomous APs one by one. Newer APs running in autonomous mode can be used to run a virtual controller on one of the APs to simplify the configuration and deployment in smaller networks. Lightweight APs, on the other hand, are designed to connect to Cisco's wireless LAN controllers and operate in a number of different modes depending on the required purpose. In this video, we're going to look at the modes available on a lightweight AP. These are as follows. Local mode, monitor mode, flex connect, sniffer, rogue detector, bridge, flex and bridge, and SE connect. So first of all, local mode. This is the default mode when an AP joins a wireless LAN controller. It allows our AP to broadcast one or more basic service sets, also known as an SSID, on specific channels. In local mode, whilst the AP isn't transmitting frames to clients, it scans other channels for the following. Noise, interference, rogue devices, and checks for intrusion detection system events. When APs are in local mode, traffic from clients is switched locally on the wireless controller by default. It's also worth noting that this mode is unavailable on the virtual wireless LAN controllers. Next up we have the monitor mode. Whilst an AP is in monitor mode, it does not transmit any packets or serve any clients. The AP will act as a dedicated sensor that constantly checks for intrusion detection system events, determines the position of devices using real-time location services, and detects rogue APs. Flex Connect mode is a mode designed for scenarios where we have APs at branch offices that connect to a central wireless LAN controller. It allows traffic to be switched locally at the branch rather than sending all traffic over the WAN back to the central wireless LAN controller. This allows a branch network with APs in Flex Connect mode to continue to operate and serve clients if the WAN link to the wireless controller is down. Next, APs in Sniffer mode do not serve any wireless clients. Instead, it dedicates its radios to receiving 802.11 traffic from other sources. This works like a packet capture device on a Windows machine, similar to Wireshark. Using the sniffer mode is useful when we want to troubleshoot 802.11 issues in remote locations without being physically on site. Rogue detector mode. Again, this doesn't serve any clients. Instead, it dedicates all of its time to detecting rogue APs and clients within our network. Whilst the AP is in rogue detector mode, the AP constantly checks for MAC addresses heard on the wired and wireless network and reports these back to the wireless LAN controller. Bridge mode is used as a dedicated point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint -point bridge between two networks. This allows two remote networks to connect to each other remotely via two bridge APs. In order for the bridge to be formed between the two networks, the APs must both be in bridge mode. In addition to this, APs in bridge mode can be used to form an indoor and outdoor mesh network. Next we've got Flex and Bridge, so this mode combines the functions of both Flex Connect mode and Bridge mode into one. The main benefit of this is to allow you to use the benefits of Flex Connect whilst using your APs in Mesh mode. Finally, we've got SE Connect, so what this does is dedicates its radios within the AP to perform spectrum analysis across all wireless channels. This then allows us to view the raw spectrum data with PC applications like MetaGeek and Cisco Spectrum Expert. This mode can be used to provide an excellent troubleshooting tool when trying to discover sources of interference remotely. Finally, before we end the video, I just wanted to go over where we can configure the AP modes on the Cisco Wireless LAN controller. So to do this, I've connected my AP to my Wireless LAN controller in my lab. So first of all, I just log in. Once that's done, you can then click on Advanced at the top right corner. And from here, go to wireless at the top, and you'll then see a list of all the APs that are joined to the wireless controller. Here we can see my AP01, so if I click on this, within here you can see we have an option for AP mode. If I click on this, you'll then see all the modes that we've just talked about now.
And there we have it. That's a complete overview of the Cisco AP modes available and how to change the mode within our wireless SAN controller. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.